you and John make 15 suggestions. Uh, give us your top three. Uh, I'd say number one is making it easier for readers to flag false news, to flag bad stuff, bad accounts, uh, and so on. Number two is the media should be able to fact check things. And in the combination of those two, Facebook and Twitter and other platforms should be able to feed this information to the users. And finally, and this is an odd suggestion, I'm an editor, so maybe this is egotistical, but I think that Facebook especially should hire a top level editor, not to create content, not to edit, not to compete with big media, but instead to bring a sense of public obligation to the platforms and to help translate journalism to the technologists and technology to the journalists and create the kind of collaboration that can, in the end of the day, improve the experience on Facebook by making it more truthful and more civil, we hope, and thus, I hope, improve the civic discourse across this country and thus improve the country. The problem, I think, is that a lot of people don't even get their news. I think that, you know, and I don't know if this is, if it's something that we as journalists can take on or if it's something that starts earlier, perhaps the way that people are educated when it comes to the media. But I just think that, you know, in a time where people see something on the internet or they see something on Twitter or on their Facebook face, uh, their Facebook page, and that becomes gospel for them. They don't do any further, there's no further scrutiny. There's no further, you know, let me try to find another source on this. It sort of, sort of begins and ends, for example, at Facebook. Yeah, I think this is where, where Facebook and Twitter and, and company can help people by giving them more information. This thing you'd want to share right now, it came from an account that's three hours old. Right. Right? <laughs> that tells you something, right? There was, there, was a, there was an example of something called the Denver Guardian. It literally was a half a day old, and people were sharing it like crazy. The Denver Post, the which Denver is long Guardian. established, what is <laughs> wrote about it, right? Yeah. So there's other metadata, we'd say geekily, but there's other information that we can give people and say, where did this, this thing come from? Track it back. They have lots of smart systems and find out this came from somebody who posts a thousand a day, times a day, it's just a bot. Give people more information. Also bring the brands of media companies up. Now, as you said earlier, that may mean some people don't trust it. Right. This came from the New York Times, and that's their right and privilege to do. But know where it came from. One of the problems we have in the news business is we're lost in the internet. And now I think that we can give people more awareness of these brands and what they mean, good or bad. All right, Jeff Jarvis, fascinating. The article is called A Call for Cooperation Against Fake News. Check it out. Thanks very much for stopping by. Thank you.